Hey everybody, it's me Sissy and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little wall hanging farmhouse, farmhousey kind of Ray Dunn inspired. But anyway, stay tuned to my video and see how I made this. See y'all in a this few This DIY, stuff. we're going to need um, a picture frame from the Dollar Tree. We're going to take the glass out of it. You can use whatever size you want. I like this long skinny one, so I'm going to use that. Um, I'm going to use the backing. I took the glass out and then I have just um, used spray adhesive to glue a piece of scrapbook paper to the front of it. And um, we're just going to put that back in our frame. Got these little um, pots. They're really thin plastic and I've tried it with just using one pot, but if you use the uh, two pots kind of stuck in together and take your scissors you can cut them right into and if you look on the bottom you'll see their lines dividing it you just pick one of the lines and you can cut straight across and it's really easy with a, with a good sharp pair of scissors so we're just going to cut our pot in two So now I have three half a pots, okay? And we're going to use those. We're going to need some styrofoam, some stems of oops, flowers. I have heather, lilac, and lavender. Um, I got the lavender at Dollar Tree and the lilac and the um, heather I got at Walmart. They were 97 cents for the bunch. So we're going to use that and we're going to use some of the moss. So let me change the camera angle so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, and so we'll I'm just going to take my um, backing from my picture frame. I've glued the um, scrapbook paper to it. Now I'm just going to put it back in. And I didn't put the glass back in. We're not going to use the glass. Make sure you get it under all the little tabs. And then you want to press those all down. Okay, and check for your hanger, and you want to have that at the top. So I'm just going to flip it over. So you have it in there. Then we're going to take our um, little half a pots, and we're going to get a piece of styrofoam, and we want to put it in the pot like that so you can see where you need to cut. I'm just going to make a mark. Then we're just going to take, you can take a serrated knife or a butter knife down. And then I just, I did that with each one of my pots um, just so because you know maybe I didn't cut one exactly in half and I wanted to make sure that it fit in here snugly. Then I'm going to cut some off the top because I don't want it to be sticking out like that. So just make me a mark and go just a little bit below it. We are going to fill up the top of the pot with some of this um, moss, but um, you know you don't want to have to use a lot of it. So that's for that one. And also, don't get confused and put your wrong styrofoam in the wrong jar or pot. So. Okay, so we have our three pots and our styrofoam ready. Now, if you have a, a hot glue gun and um, it doesn't, you don't have a low temp and a high temp, you may want to use E6000. I tried this with um, Gorilla Glue. That was a no-go. That didn't work at all. Um, the first ones when I just used one layer of pots, it melted the pot, my hot glue. So now I have my, I have a dual temperature glue gun and I have it turned down on low. And I'm just going to put a very small bead of glue on the edge. And now this is a double layer of pots. And a little on the bottom. Okay. Then we're going to take our pot and put it on the edge of the 
picture frame and kind of hold it down and I put it really close to the edge and I kind of want it to run from the pot down onto the um, frame and kind of hold it in place. I mean, it doesn't have to be a super hold on it because, I mean, it's not any weight going to be on it. We're going to glue the styrofoam to the paper um, back in a knot to the pot. So you just want it to be lightly adhered. If it didn't stick, you might want to just hold it up and run a little glue inside the pot along the edge. Um, just don't go crazy with it because it will melt your pot. And if you have a popsicle stick or something you want to use that you can, I'm going to just use the stem of flowers and just kind of push that glue down a little bit so that it secures it. Okay. So that's, I think that's got that one on there. So we're going to do that for each of our remaining pots. Now we've got our pots on here and they're pretty secure so I'm kind of happy with that. We're going to go ahead and take our styrofoam, put some glue on the back of it, and then we're just going to put it down in our pot. And I'm just making sure that it glues to the paper and not getting hot glue on the pot because it, um, It'll melt it, make the front look kind of wrinkly. <laughs> so. And believe me, I'm speaking with the voice of experience because I have melted about, this was a huge pack of pots, and I have melted all of them except this is all that's left. So, learn from my mistakes, people. Pretty good, pretty good. So, now, what I wanted to do was I'm going to put one kind of flower in each pot. And you have to trim your stems off because I don't want it to go over the top of the frame. I want it to be right at the top. So, um, clickers. I'm just going to clip all this lilac Yeah, I got them, Mom. Thanks. So, and you might have to pull your leaves off um, or they'd be too far down in the pot and you won't be able to see them at all. So, Alright, so I've got my lavender cut and I'm going to just stick it in my styrofoam. You might want to keep a hand on your styrofoam because um, it's just glued on the back and I don't want to pull it loose. And you can um, just, you know, arrange it the way you like it. Some taller, some shorter. I think I'm going to put one taller one in the back. Kind of sticking up a little bit. I don't know, somebody requested that I make the camera zoom in closer so you could see what I was doing. So that's what I'm trying to do. I know this is not working out really good for me. But anyway, I've got it in there. Then I'm going to just put some of that moss in here. And I think I'm just going to tuck it in. I'm not going to try putting any glue on it. 
like I said, I don't want to melt my pot. So, yeah. Yeah, that stuck in there pretty good. Like that. And then I'm just going to take a few of my little leaves. And I might put a dab of glue on the end of those just to hold them in. And put those around. But that's what we're going to do for each of the little containers. So I think that's kind of cute. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my lavender and my um, heather and come back and show you the finished product. Okay, there I have my three little um, bunches of flowers in my pots, and that um, looks cute just like that, but this was kind of Ray Dunn inspired, all that stuff with the white and the labels and everything and that beautiful little skinny font. So I used my Cricut, and I made some little labels to put on these pots, and then I think I might add a little burlap bow. So let me put the finishing touches on, and then I'll show you um, the finished product. I made my little wall hanging I think it is adorable um, and it's not um, I'm not gonna say it was simple because I had a heck of a time melting pots and everything else you could do this with uh, paper cups uh, you could get those at the Dollar Tree I don't know how well they would take paint but if you found a paper cup with a design that you liked um, that would be great to use but anyway I think it's really cute I'm gonna go hang it up now and uh, see y'all on the next one bye